hello guys and welcome now this is the first build video i wanted to post cause this is the build or a variation of this build is what got me through the apocalypse difficulty quite easily now infinite ammo in remnant 2 means that i won't be using any regular means to acquire the ammo such as using ammo box picking up ammo dropped by the enemies or refill ammo at the world stone basically a build where i possess infinite supply of ammo so now what i'm trying to do here is deplete all my ammo so that i can demonstrate how infinite ammo works now after I have spent all my ammo, I am currently at 0 ammo and I will use the quick draw skill from Gunslinger and I will have a full clip of ammo. The most important segment for any build design is the arch type and we will start with the arch type. So primary arch type should be Gunslinger and will need the primary prong of Gunslinger that is loaded. This means while activating any of the skills both our weapon will be reloaded and will will have infinite ammo reserves for 8 seconds. That means we can get ammo from here as many times as we want. One major issue with this statement is the skill cooldown time. Skills are not readily available for us as we please. After every use they go through a cooldown time before they could be activated again. So out of the three skills available I have opted for quick draw because it has the lowest cooldown time. Now the first string that we need for this setup is burden of the rebel which reduces skill cooldown by 15% and increases relic use speed by 25%. Now to counter this increase in relic use speed I will be using enlarged heart thus effectively negating the downside of this ring. Also if you guys are unaware you can obtain this ring from empress at the red throne. All you have to do is give her the thane seed from the widow's court. Also if you guys want a detailed video on widow's court please let me know in the comments below and I will be happy to make one. Now the second ring that we need for this build is the black pawn stamp which reduces skill cooldown by 10%. Also this ring can be obtained from the flames event. So please check description for a detailed video on this event. Let's move on to the third ring required for this build which is burden of the stargazer. This reduces skill cooldown by 15% but activating the skill cost us 15% health. To resolve this health loss problem, I have three options. First, you can use your second arch type as summoner which at max level gives you a health regen of 1.5 per second but still would not recommend this. Second option is to go for a medic as your second arch type which can also be used to regen health. Now personally I feel the best option here is the third one where I will be using nightmare spiral as my amulet which gives me 10% lifesteal of base ranged damage dealt. So as long as I am dealing significant damage I won't have to worry about my health at all. Along with this I will recommend maxing out your siphoner trait which gives an extra 3% base damage dealt as lifesteal which isn't a lot but it all adds up. One more advantage with using nightmare spiral is that now I can use the second arch type as hunter which increases critical chance range damage and overall dps for any build. The final ring and an important one is the sapphire dreamstone which reduces skill cooldown by 3% on critical hits but it can occur once every 2 seconds. So this ring is quite valuable for the build and can be obtained from a secret passage in the painting event. So please check description of the video for the link on how to unlock this ring. Now let's talk about the long guns that can be used with this build. Now XMG 57 bone saw is by far the best long gun you can use with this build with a magazine size of 150 by default and with an extender mutator it goes up to 210 which is perfect for this build. Also I would recommend corrosive rounds as mod because it increases critical chance by 15% thus further helping out the sapphire dreamstone in reducing our skill cooldown. Few other long guns that work efficiently with this build are Chicago typewriter, plasma cutter, and with a little modification merciless will also work and black maw ar47 should also work now this build is optimal for weapons which have a relatively big magazine size now to summarize we'll take advantage of our prime perk from gunslinger arch type and reduce the skill cooldown with every other equipment we can find so this is the theory behind infinite ammo no reload build as mentioned in the thumbnail now let's dive into the practical side of the things this particular area with root nexus spawns a lot of enemy as we start attacking so I wanted to test this infinite ammo reload build here and the rules are simple I cannot reload my weapon or trigger an auto reload while magazine is empty and I cannot pick up ammo dropped by the enemies also while doing so I should not run out of ammo at any point so 
वन मोर टाइम आई विल जस्ट लाइक टू पॉइंट हाउ पावरफुल नाइट मेयर स्पायरल इज इवन आफ्टर गेटिंग हिट आई एम बैक टू फुल एच पी इन ऑलमोस्ट नो टाइम so even though i am firing continuously i won't have to reload and practically i have an infinite supply of ammo so that was the main theme behind this build so for general questing areas this build seems okay but can we use this build against bosses so i tested against the few bosses i could find like kayola shadow mother mind ravager and even the final boss annihilation even during this fight there was no need to worry about ammo or even health for that matter because of nightmare spiral and even if we die it certainly won't be due to the shortage of ammo that's why bone saw is definitely the best long gun for this build also i have tested other long guns in this fight chicago typewriter and plasma cutter works the same as bone saw with merciless and black maw ar47 extender mutator was mandatory while using any weapon with a magazine size of less than 50 or 60 i noticed that i had to wait for the skill charge to come back so i could refill my ammo so i would not recommend those firearms also the bows in the game and one shot weapons will also not work so guys this was the no reload infinite ammo build for remnant 2 which is powerful enough to plow through most of the apocalypse difficulty as well so guys if you like the video please consider subscribing and as always thank you for watching and i will see you in the next video